Hi everyone, it's Miss Johnson. Today I thought I'd take you through a lesson using some beanbag skills. Just some manipulative activities that you can do using a piece of equipment at home that's really good for those motor skills development. And we start with these activities when children are young in our classrooms and then we build on them as we develop into sports skills, game skills, um, any kind of teamwork and game activities. So I looked around the house. Uh, I've seen online taping some socks together. These are bigger pairs of socks, so it's a nice weighted, nice size for the older kids. I found a bag of rice in the pantry. Um, it has some good weight to it as well. I did tape it inside a Ziploc baggie just in case the rice breaks. It doesn't end up all over the floor. But I'm gonna choose to use um, a sandwich bag full of plastic uh, grocery bags. So it's nice and soft, it's a good size, especially something for the beginners or the little ones to use so it's safe inside the helm as well. So I'm gonna put some music on and I'm just gonna take you through a series of ideas and activities that you can try at home to develop these skills as well. Okay, ready? Here we go. So I'm gonna take that bean bag and can you show me you can toss and catch? So I you start with two hands. So I'm gonna to toss with two hands and squeeze with two hands. So some cues that we talk about when we're tossing and catching. Watch with my eyes, we call that tracking, and squeeze with my hands. Now the kids like to throw those bean bags way up in the air and chase them all over the place. So I like to tell them, tossing, oh that's so easy. But can you catch without moving your feet? I keep that equipment close to my body. Because sometimes I like to release backwards and it goes over their head. So tuck my elbows, hands in front. So if you can do that with two hands, can you do it with one hand? Watch with my eyes and squeeze. Now this bean bag isn't too heavy, so I really gotta work on the squeezing skills that I can get it in my hand. Try it on the other hand, toss and squeeze. Of course, the higher I throw, the harder it's gonna be for me to catch. And remember, that's super important. I can toss, clap, catch. So we can do one clap, challenge to two. I'm still watching with my eyes and squeezing with my hand. How about a body part? Can you move it around your waist? Now a lot of times they want to watch that bean bag with their eyes, so encourage them not to look at that piece of equipment. Good. How about your neck? Where is your neck? Oh, there it is. I can also go lower and go around two legs. Now once you're around those two legs, let's change to one. I'm going to go one leg, and then I'm also going to try the other leg. So then we're going to go one leg at a time, and I ask them, well, do you know what number we're making or shape? And they're going to say an eight. I'm like, you're right, we are making an eight. Those are two circles that intersect. Awesome job. Can you balance your bean bag on your head? If it's balancing on your head, can you stand on the letter T? Ooh, nice straight arms. Let's do some circles. Can you change to airplane circles? Awesome, we call that a diagonal line. Let's fly to the other side. Woo! Here we go. Good job. Can you take that bean bag off your head and maybe put it on your elbow and lift up a leg and balance? Put your arm out. Am I cute for balancing? Oh, you're like a statue, don't move. Try to keep your body super, super still. That's great. Good job. Let's take that bean bag off. We can toss hand to hand. We can toss and catch the bean bag around body parts. So I might balance, lift up my leg. I'm gonna tuck my hand under my leg and point my fingers up so the bean bag goes up and I'm going to catch. Now a common mistake when they release, they release out and it goes away from your body. So make sure your fingers are pointing up. Let's try the other side. Lift that leg, tuck under, point my fingers up. I could go over my shoulder. That was a tricky one too. Oops, missed that one. Over my shoulder, toss and catch. Instead of catching with my hands, can you catch on your back? It's tough. So I'm going to toss. I'm going to try to get under the bean bag and catch it on a nice flat back. So I toss up. Watch it. Oh, and it fell off the side. I could squeeze the bean bag. You can squeeze it with your hands. Can you squeeze it on the side of your body? Or can you squeeze it between your knees? Hold those knees together. Let's jump. We can jump rope. Different things to do with that bean bag. Nice job. Be creative. Lots of fun things you can do working on eye-hand coordination, different skills, balancing, tossing, catching, something fun to do at home. It's safe and it keeps you busy and active. Give it a try. Have fun everyone. Bye-bye.